Hey everybody, it's your girl Shay. I'm back with another video today, y'all. Hey y'all, um, what I want to talk about today is something that happened last year. Um, I couldn't talk about it because I didn't have the equipment to talk about it, so I didn't have a laptop, So, um, but I want to talk about it today. I want to talk about the August Alcina and Jada Pinkett Smith situation, the entanglement. This is how I feel. This is how I feel and believe in my heart, okay? When we as women reach a certain age, we start to feel like we are not as, what can I, how can I say it? We're not as youthful as we used to be. We're not as um, beautiful. Some of us feel like we're not as beautiful as we once were. We're not as vital, if I can say that, um, as we once were. So we start to seek out things that will make us feel beautiful, make us feel wonderful, make us feel, you know, give us some self-esteem about ourselves. That's what we do. Um, that's um, So what will happen to some of us, we will fall into certain um, traps. And one of those traps is the cougar trap. Yes, I called it a trap because that's what it is. Um, it's, it's a trap where you start meeting and dating younger men. And you start because you want to feel... Like, like I said, because uh, um, because a lot of us don't feel as beautiful. We don't feel as needed. Um, so we go after things and even people that will make us feel like that. And a lot of us, um, we do take care, very good, great care of ourselves. We um, work out. We eat right. We drink our water. We take our vitamins. Um, even take medicine. So we have to. We keep our bodies, you know, you know, fairly healthy. And um, a lot of younger men are attracted to that. And because we know a lot of younger men are attracted to that, we, if we are, even if we're doing all those things I just said to take care of ourselves, we internally do not always feel like we are, we don't always feel inside how we look on the outside. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, like I said before, we'll go, we'll attract ourselves to things and people that will make us feel like that. And that's where the younger men come in. We'll start dating them. We'll start hanging out with them. We'll start acting like them. We'll try to dress younger to appeal to, to keep them around. And a lot of times that don't work out. It doesn't work out. Because, you know, even if you are feeling those things, feeling those areas in your life with people and stuff, it doesn't make it better, okay? It doesn't make it better. It doesn't give you that sense of fulfillment. Anything that you do unrighteously, any person that you draw to you who is unrighteous, who is not where they should be in a certain maturity level, they are not going to fulfill you. Only Christ can fulfill fulfill that part in you okay only christ can fill that part in you now there's a whole another group of women i'm getting ready to in, i'm getting in, in i'm getting ready to introduce to you there is a group of women whose main goal who have all these things they, their main goal is to use you Their main goal is to use you. It's not about love. It's not about going out and having a good time. It's not about any of those things. It's not about stuff. They give you stuff to trap you. They will give you stuff to ensnare you. They will use you. And will use you well till there's nothing left of you. Nothing. 
whatever they got to do to get you and even keep you, that's what they're going to do because their plans are sinister. And this is where August Alcina and Jada Pika Smith come in it. They prey on your, they prey on your situation. They prey on your condition. They prey on, on the things that hurt you. They make it seem like they care something about you when in actuality, they really don't. They make it seem like they're there for you when really that's not what the, what the case is. The case is you're there for them. You're there for they, their usage, their benefit. They, you are there to satisfy them. They will help you so, they will help you. So they will make you feel indebted to them for helping you. And they don't care who you are. They don't care who you're connected to. They don't care they don't care that's what happened to august alcina that young man fell in a trap he didn't know that he got himself into he grew up in a situation where nobody told him nothing nobody sat down and broke anything broke the things of life down to him nobody did that and the people that could, he wasn't allowed to be around them long. Because in order for you to get the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding that you need to navigate this life, you got to learn how to sit down with people and sit down with God so they can break that knowledge to you. So they can give you that wisdom. They can give you that understanding. Nobody did that for him. Nobody, because everybody else was dealing with their own situation. So who going to talk to him about avoiding this? Nobody. And everybody said when the situation came out, he should have kept his mouth shut. Really? And see, that's, that's, that's another problem. Men are taught to shut up. Suck it up. Take it like a man. This proves you're a man. No, it doesn't. It proves you're broken. It proves that. It proves that you got holes and places in your spirit that need to be filled with God, that needs to be filled with his spirit. That's how he was able to get into that situation that he got in. And people, there were some people that actually patting him on the back for being with her. We need to stop doing that to our boys. Stop telling them stuff. Having sex early at 12 and 14 years old is okay. It's not all right. It's not all right. Stop, stop making these videos of these kids doing these little nasty dances with these little girls. Stop doing it. It's ungodly. It's wrong. And it's also abuse. That child got caught up in that web. And didn't know. He didn't know it wasn't right. He really didn't know. I understand his age and all of that, but there's, like I said before, if nobody told you nothing, if nobody told you nothing, ain't, ain't nobody sat down and said, yay, hey, amen, don't do this. Don't do this right here with this woman. What else you gonna do? We have got to stop being so lax in talking to our young men, especially in the day and times we're living in. We got to stop being so lax. We got all kinds of things for these girls. I mean, all kinds of stuff. 
books, conferences, seminars, and even we need to step up our game in that. We need to step up our game in that. But we really need to step it up with these boys. We losing our young men over foolishness. Not just being getting killed by the cops or being shot up by some some crazy situation with the with with gang members and drug dealers and things like that. But in stuff like this, he had a right to tell his story. He had a right to tell his story. So you don't get caught up in the same situation. Don't you get caught up in that. Don't you do it. He done already did it for you. Don't you do it. No, understand people's motives. Get discernment. Figure people out. Ask, I don't care if you're a young man or a young woman. Question why there are certain people who are drawn to you. Ask questions. I had a guy to tell me one time that I was I was thinking about dating. He tell he told me he said you you like the FBI with these questions. I have to be because I got to know what your motives are. It was funny when he said it, but I I'm I'm, I'm serious. I got to know what your motives are. Why you want me around all the time? Why are you really why are you always offering me help? Why? It's okay to ask questions. It may get on their nerves, but it's going to help you. It's going to help you to properly assess what you need to do in order to keep your life the way, the way that it needs to be. So you won't fall into an entanglement. We laughed at it. We thought it was funny. But in actuality, it's not funny. This got to stop. All the way around. It's got to stop. If you are actually feeling like you're not you're not needed, you're not pretty, you're not wanted, find ask God to fill that spot for you. Ask him to fill that spot. And once he fills that spot, he will draw the right people to you. He will draw the right things to you. Some of us, it's not that you not feel that you got a hole in you. It's just that you're not doing, you're not handling your business the way you're supposed to be handling it. Handling it. Yes, I said it. You ain't handling your business. You're not taking care of the things that you, that you need to take care of in your own house. You're not doing right by yourself. That's why you feel the way you feel. Stop blaming other people for your problems. And that's what's wrong with a lot of us, a lot of our women. We blame other people for the stuff we are responsible for. It is your fault that you went into this situation you in. It's yours. Take responsibility for what you do. I said what I said. And I don't take back nothing I said. And if I take it back, I'm going to add some more to it. Because we got to stop that. It's got to stop. It's got to stop. Let's stop using each other and help each other for real. Be there for each other for real. I love you guys, <laughs> and I will see you next Saturday. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, okay? Bye, y'all.